Lynn here, and today I'd like to introduce you to a very special guest, Internet. Say hello to Tommy. And today we're here to show you how to make a costume for your pets. Pretty much it's a hoodie base, and you can turn it into any costume that you want by using any color, adding ears, tails, fins, you name it. And later in the video, we're going to show you how to make the Cheshire Cat and Pikachu. So, let's get started! So the first step in this ridiculous project is to try and measure your cat. Give it your best shot. You're going to need a few main measurements like his neck, his waist area, also known as his fatty area, from the neck to his tail, you're going to measure around his arm and then across his chest. And then you're going to measure pretty much from his neck to the tip of his head. You're going to measure around the head. You're going to use all these measurements to make a pattern, which I strongly urge because you're going to see that your cat, like when you put it on him, it just, it's like too tight or too big or something crazy like that. So whatever you measured, you're going to draw it out and then make it into this type of shape. The top being the neck and the bottom being like the part that goes around his waist. You're gonna add some seam allowance. Very small, like half an inch. And it should look like this. Next, you're going to draw a hole using the arm measurement that we took from the cat and cut it out, fold the pattern in half, and then using that, sketch out the other hole so that it's symmetrical. Moving on to his hoodie, you're going to use the back of his head measurement, half of his neck measurement, and then kind of like that front opening measurement to create this hoodie pattern, which I have perfected after like three different hoodie patterns. And then you're going to glue that back of the head area. Um, that's like giving you seam allowance there so that you can glue it. And then you're going to flip it inside out. Now you're going to mark the center of your pattern so that your hoodie can align with the center so nothing's off. And then using some safety pins so that you can remove it later, you're just going to pin it to the pattern. And then you're going to try it on your cat as best as you can. Make any tweaks and adjustments as needed and pet your cat for extra reinforcement. Then you're going to move on to your actual fabric. Place the pattern on top and start cutting around it. When you're done cutting, it should look something like this. And then you're going to move on to the hoodie and do the exact same thing. Attach the hoodie just like before, except this time you're using real glue. Here I'm attaching half an inch velcro strips to both sides of the jacket. Then you want to round out the top edge so that it's not sharp. And there you have it. You have made yourself an awesome pet costume. And from here on out, you can add whatever you want to turn it into something else. But right now, I'm going to show you how to make the Cheshire Cat. So you're going to start off by making some purple strips for the stripes of the cat. Now lay out your strips, arrange them however you want, and just glue them down. Cut off any excess fabric covering the armholes. Next, cut out some crazy eyebrows and also the ear pieces and some fur pieces. And then you're going to glue the pink to the purple. Put some glue along the bottom of the ear, curve the ear, and press it down onto the hoodie. Do the same thing on the other ear. And glue those little fur pieces on the front of the ear. For his tail, you want to cut out two layers glue some stripes to it, and then using some extra pieces of fleece, you want to stuff the tail and then glue the edges so that you get more of like a 3D thick tail look, and then glue that to the main body. And for Pikachu, we are going to start off with a yellow hoodie. Cut out two layers for his tail, trace and cut out the brown accents that go on the bottom of his tail, and then glue it. Glue the tail to the bottom of his jacket, and also glue some brown strips to the back. Cut out some red circles and glue them for his cute red cheeks. For the ears, I've cut out four pieces of felt and two pieces of floral wire. I'm going to bend the floral wire and glue it to the ear to give it a more upright shape. Then I'm taking a scrap piece of felt and then 
gluing it to the inside to give it a more 3D ear effect. And I'm just gluing down the edges. I'm also adding some black felt to the tip of his ears. Next, I'm marking the ear placement. I'm cutting a slit with my scissors, putting the wire through there, and then gluing it down. And then you're done! I hope you all enjoyed that silly video. Please subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. Bye!